Hey guys, it is me, Phoenix. We are going to do a general read to see what your energy is. Please do me a favor. Like, share, subscribe, hit the bell notification to be notified when I post a new video. Remember, rare hearts if you made it through. Purple hearts if it resonates. Green hearts if you're working on it. Yellow hearts if you just rock with me. And have my six meaning have my back because I have yours. Please do me a favor um, again and go over to my uh ch other channel on youtube the world is waiting tarot um where you can find um all sign readings uh every zodiac sign and just general reads um when i go on there and so please do me a favor and subscribe to that channel the chariot comes out our card moving forward but this is a uh, a snail so that means things are happening slower than what you expect them to happen well then you expect them to happen am i saying that right uh, p things are happening, happening slow. <laughs> they're, they're happening slow in order, in <laughs> other words, sorry, my, my cord to my microphone is like falling in my face and I'm trying to fix it. But anyway, things are going slow. They're not happening as fast as you want them to. And so therefore you are moving forward, but it's taking a long time for you to be able to see the results. And that's the reason why this chariot. Now these have major arcanas and there are two cards in the major I think it's the major or the minors. I'm not sure whichever one it is. But anyway, this is about the things that you're loving and compassionate about. Um, and so, therefore, with the King of Cups energy being here, it's just letting you know that, you know, this is your passions. Whatever it is, there's no, you know, it's going slow. You're waiting for your ships to sail, right? Love and compassion, right? You're waiting for your ships to sail. You're watching them, but it's just taking too long. And so, therefore, what's happening is that, yeah, Knight of Cups energy. The universe is telling you to follow your heart, but at the same time, your heart is, is whatever you're following is taking a long time. Could be love, could be passion, but all of these are water energy right now, but it's all talking about you and what you're going through. Everything is happening slow. Even though there's wheels on the snail, the snail is still going slow, yeah. The struggle, five of pentacles in the reverse. You know, the thing is, is that with the five of pentacles in the reverse, you're just, you know, you feel some type of way. You feel like, you know, there's a point that, you know, you need to recover from the situation. So whatever you're going through, you're trying to recover. But instead of struggling, you're trying to recover. And it's taken a long time for you to see results. We have the queen of cups, your energy here. We have the Page of Swords, Clarity, and the Emperor. This could be in regards to a cup of love when it comes to you being empathetic. Look at this Emperor. He's taking his time. This Emperor is dancing in the courtyard, and he has he's used to having puff, puppets um, listening to everything. This is, the, this is what happens, you know, with what stability looks like to an arrogant person, if that makes sense. Authority, power, and stabi stability. So in the other... Um, in another scenario, when it comes to you having clarity on what's going on, you know, you have the knowledge to know what's happening, the Page of Swords energy. But when it comes to this, this emperor type energy or what you're waiting on and what's taking so long to move slow is because there's a lot of yes mans in this energy, right? Emperor energy, Carter Aries, you know, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. But there's a lot of yes mans. This person has everybody, you know, um, um, what is it called? Um, where I want to be is on by Donnell Jones. Um, but uh, what was I going to say? Oh, I was saying that he has a lot of people that he has stringing along. You know, he's stringing these people along. And therefore, therefore, he has no need to rush. Let's clarify the five of pentacles in the reverse. Comes with the nine of cups and the ace of cups. So, you know, this is love. This is a cup of love. This is having your rewards, nine of cups energy. This is, you know, going after your dreams and stuff. And so at the same time, you're feeling like it's stagnant and that you're being punished because you want this cup of love, this new opportunity uh, or a great love or joy. And it's taking a long time for it to happen because people are moving slow in this situation. Uh, Will of Fortune, yeah. But this is the ebb and flow of life. You know, the cycles that have to happen in order for a person to actually come to appreciate you or you to appreciate what this person is bringing to you, if that makes sense. And so you don't want to have somebody coming where they used to, when they're used to lover's energy, card of Gemini. Um, you don't want to have anybody come to you um, that is that isn't ready. That's used to everybody, you know, throwing their, you know, uh, feet and in the um, will of fortune energy is all the elements or whatever. But, um, you know, you don't want anybody to come that feels like, you know, they, they want to know where they want to be. I just said Donald Jones is on. You want somebody that knows where they want to be and not second guess or doubt it. And this type of energy here is somebody that 
is like doesn't it does it's gonna move slow because they have everything that they they feel like they have everything that they need uh and this card comes yeah judgment in reverse um again the judgment being in reverse is just letting you know that you know it has to be some type of destruction or punishment or doubt when it comes to this person in order for them to move forward and that's just where it is i was clarifying the judgment in the reverse comes out with the seven of cups yeah um see the thing is is that this knight of cups energy uh, excuse me, the King of Cups energy. Look at this. This King of Cups, and I say this and just, just hear me out. This King of Cups has to be ready to come towards you and know that you are their option. Know that you are the option that they choose. Does that make sense? Look at this. And because I say that to say to you that you planted everything that you want and you're waiting for somebody to come your way. But this is you waiting on this person, the same cup. King of Cups, King of Cups. That's why I say the Major Arcanas is a major or minor. Hmm. Anyway, but this is you waiting on this person to give you the love that you want. But it's called, you know, you feel like there's doubt in the air. They're moving slow. So you have to be able, just like I said, you're waiting on this person to realize with the judgment energy being in the reverse right here. You're waiting on this person to realize that, you know, uh, you know, that there has to be. Well, I'm not saying that there's a destruction. I'm not saying that because that's what the judgment in reverse is like punishment. You know, you're waiting for this person to realize that, you know, or, or have some type of um, dark night of the soul energy to where they would do what makes their heart happy, which is to have a union, to have a bond. But this has to be with them choosing you, even despite all the other options and people that are around them. And that's the ebb and for a life. This person can only come to you when they're ready, not when you want them to come. So if they come this way, hold on. If they come this way with, you know, everybody being a puppet, right? If they come this way, what would you do is on, you see, what would you do by the Isley brothers, Ron Isley and, um, um, I say the Ron Isley and Mr. Biggs, you know who Mr. Biggs is. So anyway, you don't want them like this. You want them to be humble. You want them to come with you when they have, they know that they have options, right? But they're not feeding into it. They want to come and, and sail towards you. Does that make sense? Um, and so that is what you're waiting on. And that's where the forward movement comes in. So again, the, the King of Cups is here. Seven of Cups, uh, lovers, energy, Gemini, uh, Aries, energy, um, you know, and we have again, King of Cups, air energy here, but the lover's energy is card of Gemini, but these are the, all the elements. So again, the pinnacles is here too. So it's not just one sign. It's just take what resonates, leave what doesn't, but you don't want this person to come towards you and not be ready. Um, and it doesn't mean that they haven't, you haven't dealt with this person before. It just means that you had to focus on what you wanted and not really think about the struggle and, and move forward you know, and wait for this person to show its face. Does that make sense? Yeah, look at that. So the ring is here, right? In agreement, right? Uh, the stork is here. Yeah. So transformation change. So again, like I said, you had to wait for this person to change. Um, or you were waiting for this person to change. I'm not going to say you had to. You were waiting for this person to change or to show you something different. Queen of Earth is here. But we have transformation, renew, restless, arrive, slash, depart. See, you were restless, and that's the reason why, because you're looking down at, you know, the King of Cups energy, the analogy that I like. It says, only love, compassion, and un understanding can truly bring you the happiness and tranquility that you seek. seek. But here it comes where you are at the point that you're waiting on this person to come, and they have to be willing to come towards you. You know, and it's taken them a long time to actually realize and make you and understand that even though they have all these options, you know, they want this option with you. And so if that makes sense. And so the stork is here again. This person has to transform. They have to want this just as much as you want. You want it. Arrive, depart, move, renovate, pregnancy, birth, slender and tall. So maybe they're slender and tall, but I'm just saying they have to want what you want. Raccoon is here. Yeah. And so the problem, greatest sex is on right now. I'm going to turn it down because it's going up too loud. Um, but yeah, they have to want what you want. Problem solver, curious, ask questions, adaptive, creative, entrepreneur, mischievous, scavenger, resourceful, and clever. So this person has already proved to you that they're an emperor and that they're clever. They're a problem solver. You know, they ask questions. They're very adaptive. They're creative. They're an entrepreneur. They're very mischievous. And, you know, and this shows you that. But again, they have to want what you want. 
and when you, you know, not necessarily when you want it, when they want it, not when you want it, because then it'll all come with a whole bunch of extra problems. And you probably already experienced that. So the uh, queen of earth energy, you know, the earth energy is the pinnacles, which is already showing his face a year from now during the spring, April 22nd to May 21st. Um, the ruling planet is Venus. So um, your Venus is um, your romantic inclinations, your romantic inclinations. So the romance is what you probably are looking for with this ruling planet. It says to be stable, stubborn and strong, possessive, persevering, down to earth, sensual, physical and prosperous and this is the hierophant this is uh somebody's belief system that is what you want from this person when they're ready even though they have all these options you want this from this person you want them to be stable stubborn and because you know it right possessive uh, they we want them to love you not necessarily possessive you know persevering to go ahead and achieve all the things that they want to have their castle and things like that right uh to be sensual to be down to earth to be physical and prosperous meaning you know not only showing a mental type of energy meaning loving them in the 5d you want to have everything with this person and therefore that means the agreement the ring a pact a cycle a contract a partnership trust alliance commitment circular continuing on closure promise and a bond you want to bond with this person and this person has to want that when they can want to, when they're ready to come around and in this process yeah you're grateful for this experience right um and they're happy but remember you're seeking happiness in all other aspects because this person was taking a long time to come towards you and so you're looking out like when are they going to come you know when are they going to come when am i when am i going to be happy but again with the um the earth energy and saying the hierophant, the belief system, they have to come when they're ready to believe that even though they have all the options, they're able to give you the cup of love or the love and compassion that you truly deserve, right? Does that make sense? And so that is how I see this energy. Seven of Wands is here, but in the process, they're going to be defensive until they realize what it is that they want. Um, if that makes sense, bottom of the deck is Chrome memories, remembering. Yeah. So this person has to remember the things about you, which makes them want to have an impact on your life or to have some type of transformation or to solve this problem of the memories, remembering mystery, magical powers, a new event or happening, clever problem solver, observant and an omen. So in order for them not to feel like it's going to be an omen or being tied down, they have to be willing to ride towards you. And that's going to take a lot of defensiveness in the beginning. But for them to realize messenger movement, they have to make a move towards you. And it has to be fast and it has to be swift. But it's on their time, though. So you want it to rush. But again, the messenger, the movement, the message, the travel, the news, the, vis the visitor, delivery, um, goals, green light, progress, full speed ahead. You want them to make full speed ahead. But you have to make sure that they're ready to make that decision to do that or It'll be a permanent decision on a temporary motion, and that's just how they feel right now. So you have to see if this is something that they really want to do, and that's what you're waiting for. But you're trying to wait patiently, but you're losing your patience when it comes to this person, place, thing, or situation. Um, so I'm going to pull from the Twin Flame deck to see what comes out uh, from here uh, because it seems like maybe this is somebody that's your Twin Flame, somebody that you've experienced the greatest sex with, but somebody who is taking slow who's moving slow if that makes sense and that bottom of the deck is patterns i feel like i don't deserve you i'm worried you will leave me when um when you see who i really am and that's the defensive side of this person and that's the reason why you know you're waiting for them you know this situation that they have issues that they have to take care of but again they have to want this just like you want it growth yeah there has to be growth I've hurt you and I'm sorry. I hope you can forgive me someday and understand I was reacting in fear. And you know that. You already know that. You know how they operate. You know what they do. But you just want them to hurry up. You're going to accept them the way that they are. But um, you want them to hurry up. But right now they popping. Chris Brown song on popping. Oh, sorry. Y'all know I can't sing. But this is how they feel. Like they popping. Why should. And sorry, my hands are ashy. Why should they go from this all of these people listening to them to you uh but it only happens when when they realize that being that popping ain't everything when um they have the person that they love lover's energy right and so that is where it's at so the union is here i feel our energy merging together as if i 
as if it has a life of its own. We are becoming one again. So again, they're going to come back to you. But again, it has to be where it has to be the right timing, not just for you, but for them as well. But, you know, they're moving slow. Everything, every time is the right time for you because you can fix things and make things work. But you have to they have to see a reason for them to either feel some type of um, situation to where they have to travel fast towards you and, and say, you know what, because they feel like they're going to lose you, lose you. It has to be some type of energy to where they feel like they have to come towards you um, and telepathic messages. It says, I feel your energy around me and I'm wondering, are you thinking of me too? So that is why, because after so long, they're going to stop feeling your energy because you're going to keep moving forward and not worrying about them. Respectfully, you are going to be worried about them, but you're not going to keep reaching out or answering their calls the way that you used to. And so that's going to concern them. So is remember the four agreements, you know, always do your best and be impeccable with your words when it comes to how things are said. So since I said that, I'll go ahead and pull from the four agreement card deck to see what it is. Be impeccable with your words. Always do your best. Don't take anything personal. Don't take this person's situations personal and don't make assumptions. So as long as you're not making assumptions, you know, and taking things personal with how they are, then you know that you've always done your best or that you've done your best, shall I say. And that card does come over is do your best, right? And so always do your best. It says, don't overdo it. It says, always do your best, but don't overdo it. Don't overdo. When you overdo, you deplete your body and go against yourself and it will take you longer to accomplish your goals. So your goals, whatever it is, if you overdo it and you don't all, you, and you know that you're doing your best, but you cannot overdo this situation. You can't keep questioning and asking and feeling. You just send strength and healing to that person, period, and go from there. Because at that same point, you have to understand that this person will feel your energy, even though they'll feel your energy more if they learn to miss you and learn to understand that their life isn't the same without you, if that makes sense. So let me go ahead and pull from the Romance Angel by Doreen Virtue and maybe from the Black Hollywood Love Lovers deck. Hold on. All right. So um, <clears throat> I'll pull from the Doreen Virtue first. But I just feel like, you know, you've done everything that you could in regards to this. You planted the seed in this person's heart. You showed them who you really are. And now you have to move forward and do your stuff. Should I take this card? I'll show you it. It says wedding. Look at that. Wedding and romantic feelings at the bottom of the day. So I'll take it, you know, because I showed you it. But uh, the romantic feelings, your feelings are real and worth exploring. So you know how you feel about this person, right? You know how you feel about this person, but they have to know what they want. This situation involves marriage. They have to know that. And so that is where you are with this situation. You could. It could happen this way. But at the same time, if you try to do this in the point of this person not being ready, then um, they won't, they they will just keep holding you as a pawn, you know, and this is the Hollywood, black, the Black Hollywood Romance Star deck. Um, yeah, they'll just keep holding you and using you like they use everybody else respectfully, right? <laughs> Past life and interferes. It said it fears, right? Ready for love. This person, romantic feelings, they're ready for love and maybe ready for a commitment. Who knows? Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. If this isn't for you, it's not for you. If you know that your person isn't ready, send strength and healing to that person, period. I don't want to give you false expectations and have you sitting at the door waiting for a person to come and you know they're not ready to come deep down in, inside. You know, respectfully, you know, ready for love. You've, you've been understandably guarded scared of being hurt again but you took the time to heal now now you are ready to try love again and so that is how I see that this person um, will be once they understand what life is like without you because again if they don't know what it's like when you when, when can we be our true when we can be our truest selves we are then able to 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 freely love and so they will never be able to freely love as long as they have all of these yes men around them. If that makes sense. They will never be able to freely love if they have all these yes men around them. Hold on, this is my mother. Okay, so that was my mom. So anyway, yeah, the freedom is, it says when we can be our truest selves, we are then able to freely love. And see, that's the problem with this person 
You know, they can be who they want to be with this, these people without emotion or without, you know, without true emotion or true feeling, you know, because they're going to say yes, no matter what they do, you know, they might get mad at something, but they don't have to be vulnerable with these people, these type of people. But with you, you know how to, you know how they operate or how they how their clock goes around. Does that make sense? And so that's where the freedom and the romantic feelings, your feelings are real and worth exploring. They know that, that they can do that and explore their feelings with you. And so that is only when they become ready for love. So again, you waiting with them moving slow and feeling like you've been neglected is because they're not ready. And so again, take what resonates, leave what doesn't, if this isn't for you, but their emotions, their feelings have to be there. The patterns, I feel like I don't deserve you. I'm worried you'll leave me when you see, when you see who I really am again, how they really operate, how things go. They're used to yes, men's. They're not used to somebody really looking and seeing directly through them. That's their inner fears. So it says, as you face your inner fears, you recognize what is, is holding you back from attracting a healthy and loving relationship with others and yourself. Now, again, this is you. This, this could be you or this could be them, but this could be you while you decide to walk away, but wait at the, with, with the, with the squint eye and to see if they're still coming back. You get what I'm saying? And so that is because you, you know, you have to face your fears with, saying okay this person and that's where the five of pentacles come in the reverse that because you have to face your fears when it comes to this person maybe not being available for you maybe making you feel like you know you know you have to recover from this crisis and that's just basically what it is you know or hardship or or a struggle maybe this is what making you feel this way because they're moving so slow and so again only because the judgment in the reverse comes here Right. And so the judgment in reverse is again, you feel like you're being punished back to this energy. Right. And so then, you know, not only until they realize that the options that they have is about them coming through and finding you. And that's facing their fears. That's facing their fears. And so that's when, again, this person will be ready for love. And willing to commit. Does that make sense? And because they face their inner fears. Oh, I forgot this card. Because they face their inner fears. And that's when they'll be ready to love. If that makes sense. And so that's how I see it. I mean, I'll pull from the messages of the heart. Because I just feel like that is what you need to know. It only it's the ebb and flow of life. The will of fortune energy. They have to face their inner fears. You know, it has to, they have to know that everything isn't going to always be laid out to them. The ebb and flow of life, the will of fortune, the messengers of the heart. Card comes out. Yeah, passion ignited. You ignite their passion and they realize that you're the power couple that they want. This is, this is one thing to do is to be alone. But they see, they see that they see that both of you have an equal exchange of power, which can make you unstoppable as a couple. So this is what they have to understand and realize that you hold as much power as them as they do. But you have to know that you did your best and you can't overdo it anymore. Does that make sense? And so only when they realize that you're the power couple and that you're uprooting, look at this, they are leaving all that is familiar to, to them or a long-term relationship to start a brand new life with you. That is what they have to realize, but this cannot go on your, listen, you don't want to be the reason why somebody leaves a person. You want them to be able to do it on their, on their own, if that's what they're going to do. But a lot of the times they don't do it because they don't face their inner fears. If that makes sense and the passion ignited. Their intense sexual desire towards you is making it hard for them to know the difference between lust and love. But they're realizing that is love. They realize that it's their fears that's causing it, causing them to question the love. But they also realize that they're ready for love. And you ignited that passion. And that you can be that power couple that they, they want. And they're going to start uprooting things when they realize. And then all of a sudden it's going to be like, wait a minute. It's not going to be so harsh anymore. They're going to say, oh, yeah, I have all these people doing this for me, but this isn't you. So the option that I choose is not all the stars. It's just you.
Does that make sense? Now, because without moving forward, or excuse me, when you move forward, you know you got to move forward about your money and about what makes you complete without somebody. With or without you, I'm going to make it, right? So we got to pull from the money deck to see what card comes out. Because I just believe that the only way during this time, yep, luck is on your side. Listen, during this time of you searching and waiting and being patient, right? And looking out and waiting, you still have to make things happen, right? Mechanic, mend what needs mending yourself. It might be broken, but all is not lost again. And this is what they have to do. Consider a career as a mechanic in automotive, aerospace, or repair technician. You have the ability to easily fix your finances, but a sacrifice may, need, may be needed. And the sacrifice is you knowing what the struggle is and why you have to walk away in order to go after the things that you want. Does that make sense? Retail. If you have an idea in mind, this is giving you the green light that there is a need for it. Consider a career in retail e-commerce, uh, whether it's goods or services. Say, and then it says save time, energy, and, and add passive income by taking your business online. So you could be doing that. You could be, you know, doing an online thing, you know. And so that is uh, what it is that you might be looking at. Expanding yourself. Um, uh, hold on one second. And expanding yourself. You know, and so here it is, knowing that at the same time that you're expanding, you're building, you're growing, you're uprooting things, you're doing things based upon, you know, just taking a leap for yourself, right? And so because you feel like you're struggling, no matter where it goes, you feel like there's struggle, judgment in reverse, that you're being punished. So, and that there's doubt in regards to this person. So you move forward for yourself, right? You move forward for yourself. And it says, your luck is about to change for the better. You could, you could get a lucky break, some financial breakthrough. You could get a lucky break, some financial breakthrough. Anything you do now will be very, very prosperous for you. So again, everything is starting to come and unfold. That's what I'm going to say, you know, but it took for you to take that time out for yourself and understand. And we're going to pull from the crystal deck and then we're going to let this energy go. It took for you to, 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 to focus. And if you're not here yet where this person is ready to come back, this is why you have to focus on yourself. This is why I'm not taking all these cards. This is why you have to create everything for yourself and create it just for the point of you knowing that this is a blockage for you and that you're waiting for somebody to change. When you get to a point to where you're waiting for somebody to change, you need to change yourself. Respectfully. You need to work on that business. You need to work on that credit. You know, that boss up, it's time to boss up. You know, it's time for you to boss up for yourself. Because when you start to wait for something to happen, put it in the universe. I send strength and healing to this person, period. But you move forward and send strength and healing to yourself. The antigorite. Antigorite, the blue quartz and the blue topaz. Topaz. This deals with your heart, your throat, your throat, and your third third eye chakra. So the aragonite, antigorite, deals with your heart chakra, creativity, release, and truth. You're dealing with your truth right now, but you had to release it in order for you to be creative. You understand that? You wouldn't do this. And, and so here's the thing. No man is your enemy. No man is your friend. Every man is your teacher. This emperor, this stable person who you spoke highly of, who you thought highly of, or who you wanted to be like or to be with taught you a lesson to go after your creativities no matter who whose feelings is going to get hurt right again they see you they they see that both of you have an equal exchange of power which can make you unstoppable as a couple so if you complete them they complete you and you guys come together as a power couple a Jay-Z and a Beyonce, if you think, you know, something like that. Or maybe not. You know what I'm saying? The heart chakra. I see the truth in everything and everyone. You see the truth, you know, right? The blue topaz deals with your throat, 
and your third eye chakra. I'll say the chakras at the end. The, the throat and the third eye chakra. Contentment, relaxation, and truth. Again, everything is about truth, right? It's your truth. Deals with your throat and your third eye chakra. If these are blocked, there's no truth being there. I am content in the knowledge that I am protected by the universe. With or without you, I'm going to make it. Blue quartz. Communication, connection, and clarity. Lover's energy, right? Connection. Where is it at? Connection and a union. Your throat chakra. If this is blocked, there will be no connection. There will be no communication. And there will be no clarity. There will just be you running back and forth and being on defensive mode and feeling like everything is, you know, uh, you doubt everything and everything is not in your favor. There's no luck on your side, right? You change your aspects when everything is blocked. Deals with the throat chakra. I inspire hope in myself and others. So again, um, the, uh, th the throat chakra is your ability to communicate and express yourself and trust. You know, the third eye chakra is your intuition, your perception, and your understanding. If those, those things are blocked, throat chakra here, if those things are blocked, your throat and your third eye chakra, you're not going to communicate, you're not going to express yourself, and you're not going to trust. In anything, not even yourself. You're not going to express yourself based upon how you feel. You're not going to uh, communicate your feelings towards anybody. Because if you feel like, you know, um, you know, your intuition is off. Or you don't have any understanding. Or somebody won't understand you. Or they won't see what it is that you bring to the table. Then you're not going to, you're not going to communicate. The heart chakra is your love, your harmonious energy, and your ability to forgive. You can forgive this person because they weren't ready for love. But now they are. So are you going to forgive them and move forward with them? Because you know deep down you've been waiting on it. And it's okay. It's okay. Remember, your creativity, your releasing, your truth. This is your truth. You have to stand in your truth and communicate your truth. No matter how somebody else feels. If you tried, then oh well, you tried. You know, seven of wands is victory, hope, and being defensive. You still want to have victory with this person. You're hopeful, but you have to be defensive when it comes to feeling like you've been struggling and that you've been feeling less than and not and taking advantage of. Again, it says, I see the truth in everything and everyone. You know how this person is. You know what this person is about. And so, therefore, all you can do is do your best when it comes to the four agreements. Do your best. Always do your best. Don't overdo it. Always do your best. But don't overdo it. Don't overdo. When you overdo, you deplete your body and go against yourself. And it will take you longer to accomplish your goal. It'll take you longer to heal if you cannot communicate. If you can't, um, if you don't have any clarity, you can't speak your truth. And you can't be creative. Cre creative. If you can't be creative, you know. Um, and so, therefore, when this person is ready, they'll let you know. But send strength and healing, period, to them. Because if they don't let you know, you'll see it eventually. Because it might not be with you. It might be with somebody else. But just send strength and healing. And hopefully, they'll come back. If you want it back, ask for it back. If you don't, don't ask for it back. And that's all I can say to this. Now, it's been 33 minutes. Let me go ahead and let this energy go. Let's let this old, negative, doubtful energy go. I now let go of worn out conditions of lack, doubt, hate, negativity, my throat chakra. I was just about to choke. Excuse me. I now let go of worn out conditions of lack, doubt, hate, negativity, procrastination, stagnation, sadness, generational curses, debt, bad energies, heartbreak, bad health, and addictions. Remember, addictions can be to a person, place, thing, or situation. I love you guys.